Okay, and just to pick up on that and maybe move us on to the next topic, which we wanted to talk a little bit about operating systems and services business as well. Um, the, the developer community you've got focused on Symbian heavily. Um, will that, do you think that, I mean, there's a lot of talk about Nokia maybe ending up moving over to Linux, um, Limo next year sometime, or at least starting to move that direction mm -hmm. on some high-end devices. Um, if you go that direction, do you think you can take that development community with you? I mean, okay. and, and yeah, how good, would you good, do it? Good question. Um, we're absolutely moving that way. There's some question. You know, we have uh, uh, the internet tablet has been a Linux based. What flavor it's going to be? I'll, I'll leave to the technologist because I'm still confused a little bit by the different flavors of Linux. Um, but next generation, which is Linux based, we've been investing in. We've got product that's starting to come out on that. It's going to be terribly important. <coughs> but there's a heck of a lot of run with Symbian Series 60 in between then and, and now. And how do you can take the uh, developer base there is continue what we've done is have them have the opportunity to write most efficiently to the biggest real estate, right? That's, that's what they're compelled by. This isn't theology, it's where can I write most efficiently to get the broadest impact the most real estate, the most possibility to get my product, my solution, my innovation out there. And uh, that's, again, where I think if we're nimble, we continue to, to realize that we can take advantage of that scale and help bring that developer community to the ecosystem that we're building.